Hi, everyone. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow boarder named Keith. Uh, Keith uh, goes about and asks the following question. He says, Jeff, I'm going to partially rewire my house and starboard engine battery to separate them. Good idea, right? Separating house and engine battery, always desirable. Try to keep your checking and your saving accounts uh, separate and not always together. Uh, Keith uh, goes on and says, by the way, I've got a single on-off battery switch for the starboard engine and the port engine. So um, we'll talk about a little bit about that later. Uh, that's a note, but uh, we want to make sure I'll bring clarification that. And then he Keith goes on to say, the starboard engine switch controls the house and the starboard engine battery. Okay, that's not unusual. And, and my idea is to cut uh, or to install a ACR, which is a battery combiner. ACR is from Blue Seas, between the new deep cycle battery and the starter battery on the starboard engine. And then Keith goes on asking, uh, with this new uh, starter isolated ACR, which is uh, ACR stands for automatic combiner relay, he's wondering what should I do about that SI uh, post on a battery combiner? SI starts for starter isolator. All right, so Keith has uh, sort of laid out the groundwork, groundwork in a way that for all of us as boaters realize that everything seems maybe easier before we start and things get a little bit harder as we go along. But that's normal. It's a boat. It's to be expected. If it was a boat, if it isn't a boat, it's easy. If it isn't a boat, it's not easy. Uh, so first things first, uh, when many of us as boaters will find that our house and engine uh, loads are actually coming onto a single battery. It's quite common, actually. Um, not everyone agrees or thinks that engine and house loads should be separate. That's the first sort of like, you've got to recognize that, is that it's not a mantra. It's an approach, and not everyone agrees with the approach of having dedicated engine battery and house batteries. Sounds like uh, Keith is going in a way and trying to separate his house loads from his engine loads. So that's easy to do, right? Having taking some loads off one house battery, taking the other loads off the engine battery, and that takes some cleanup. But the challenge is, how do you have a a new battery get a charge either from the alternator? or also from a battery charger. One easy way to do that is to introduce a battery combiner. And a battery combiner from Blue Seas is called an ACR, which stands for Automatic Combiner Relay. Okay, all right, <clears throat> so we've got these battery combiners and the reason why people choose to install them on boats is a way for paralleling batteries whenever there's a charging voltage. And that charging voltage could be triggered by solar panels, could be triggered by an alternator, could be triggered by an inverter charger, i.e. the charger function of an inverter charger. It really doesn't matter. And these battery combiners have a tiny little post on them. And one of that posts is called an SI, which means starter isolator. And that is a way for you to basically make sure that even when there's a charging voltage, um, and i.e. the combiner is engaged and the batteries are parallel, that before you, when you start your engine, that your batteries are separate, i.e. that your house and engine battery, which are normally combined through this ACR, won't be combined when you start your engine. Now, the question might be, well, why would I care, Jeff? Well, there are reasons for doing that, albeit very few people would go down that road. I think it's an interesting feature that is rarely implemented because it's it's a little harder than it sounds, um, but it's doable. And it's a way to make sure that whenever you actually crank your engine, and let's say, for example, a battery charger is on or solar is energized, and your battery combiner is actually engaged and your house and engine battery are parallel, when you start that engine, you're actually going to only be starting the engine, not off the house and engine, but only through the engine battery. And so, it's a way to make sure that you also don't have voltage, uh, I guess, drop, significant voltage drop under starting. Because, like, for example, if you're electronics, you've got a boat and your chart plotter, sounder, is wired to your house battery. And suddenly your battery combiner is engaged because it senses somewhere that there's a charging voltage on either battery. When you go to start your engine, the house battery is going to help 
to if the battery combiner is engaged. <clears throat> well, what's going to happen to the house battery? The house battery might go down to 10 volts, 10.5 volts, which is not unusual for a starter to cause that to a battery. But then what happens is your electronics that are running off your house load might be susceptible to a low voltage disconnect, right? So if the battery voltage goes below or what they sense on their chart plotter goes below 10 volts, well, you might actually trigger a reboot. And so the SI post is a one way to avoid these hassles. And the SI post, another feature of why some people would choose to implement it is that it allows you to know before you leave the dock that only your engine battery is good enough for you to start the engine. And so you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket when you start your engine, especially at the dock. That's the time where you want to know, can I actually start my engine with only my engine battery? Nothing wrong with having more batteries to help, but you don't want to go as your first step, have all your eggs come into play, meaning that you have your house and engine battery starting your engine. Because what if you need help when you leave the dock, right? And you only have your engine battery. Well, then it's going to be worse than what you did at the dock, which is having house and engine. So that's the reason why some folks choose to install a, choose to utilize the starter isolator post, SI post on a battery combiner, which by Blue Seas is called an ACR, which stands for automatic combiner relay. So a nitty little gritty question uh, from Keith, but uh, thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for tuning in. Much appreciated. So if you're curious, again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.